Hello everyone, this is Michael from Valor Recon here today with another Valorant video. Today's video is going to be a little more casual. I'm just going to talk about my thoughts on Neon as a character. You can see some of my footage from both PBE and um, the live game now that she is officially out in the background, me kind of figuring out the character. Um, but overall, I'm going to talk about my stance on Neon, whether I think she's going to be part of the meta and where I think she's going to see play. Overall, I think Neon is a very, very fun character. Looking at the past couple characters that have come out, those being Ko, um, we had Chamber, we had Yoru, we had Astra. Out of all of them, Neon seems like the most fun. And, you know, Yoru was kind of in that same state when he came out of, like, seeming really, really fun. Um, but I think his power level was so low that you really couldn't realize that fun. I think Neon strikes the right balance of having fun capabilities in her kit, but also being powerful enough to actually do something. Um, but I don't think she's necessarily broken. I know people were like, why would I ever play Jet? And I think when playing, the thing that stood out the most to someone who loves to play Jet is that she is very, very different. Um, you know, Jet has the ability to get out, Neon has the ability to get in, and that's how I like to think about it. When we look at the last couple characters, Chamber and Neon specifically, we see that they are kind of taking things that make that, that, are, that Jet is the best at and kind of giving them to other characters. For instance, Jet used to be the best opper. Now I'd argue that's probably Chamber, at least on defense. And Jet used to be the best for pushing onto site and Neon seems to be coming here to kind of take that throne. Um, whereas Jet can used to be able to be the one to opt because she could dash to get out. She could enter site because she could dash onto site and she could get out because of the dash. She now seems to be the best at getting out. Uh, and I think that's really, really awesome. Um, Neon's really good at getting into the fight and can use her utility to get out, but it's a lot more dangerous. Now, I do feel like there are some things that feel off about Neon um, and some situations where I don't think she's going to be good. Um, I think she's going to feel pretty good at a medium power level. Um, I think when you're high enough to have teammates that know how to hold, because if you don't have map control with neon she's not very fun because you can't sprint anywhere because you don't own any of the map so as long as you're in a high enough elo to where map control is something that you have um you know she can be very very potent with fast rotates and getting to places enemies don't necessarily expect but i do feel like in those higher elos um you're getting headshot a lot more you can't slide into enemies nearly as much and obviously that takes away a little bit of the fun of her i do think her ult is a little weak um in the higher levels just because people are gonna just one shot you and i know that's an not necessarily accurate representation, but I feel like as opposed to something like Jet's ult, where you have the potential to one-shot other people, even if, you know, if, if Neon gets brought down to one health, it is so hard to get a kill with her ult because they just have to hit you once. Um, and so I do feel like as much as people have were like, oh my gosh, Neon's gonna be busted, I actually don't think she's gonna replace Jet in any of her pick, um, pick rates. And when we look at Valorant Champions, Chamber wasn't allowed, um if I'm remembering correctly, um, and Neon wasn't there either, and so it'll be interesting to see kind of, you know, does Jet's pick rate get reduced? Do they replace a Jet with a Neon in a chamber? I don't know. I think she has a lot of potential pushing in on sites with the wall and the slide and the concuss, um, and I think that's really, really awesome, but I just really feel like at the higher levels, she is not going to be super impressive um, because a lot of her abilities rely on your opponents not hitting you um which i which isn't as practical the higher skill you go um but there are some really really interesting things you can do i will say from an implementation standpoint her slide seems a little unintuitive sometimes there have been times where i am just trying to slide and i can't you do need a little bit of speed to activate that slide which, which i think is a really really good thing just because it kind of avoids making it just a slower jet dash it does actually require a little bit of build up again building up the point that neon is meant to get into the fight not get out of it um but i do think that oftentimes leads to situations where um you know you're trying to slide and you don't and that could be an issue of ping or packet loss or something along those lines but i noticed it a lot more than i ever have with jet um, I've also noticed that some of the other abilities can interact a little weirdly, but I think a lot of that will just come with practice. Um, her sprint seems pretty good. It is only a 33% increase apparently, but I do think that's just enough to where it doesn't feel overwhelming, but still allows for some really cool plays where they don't expect you to be where you're at already. A lot of my initial gameplay did come from replication, but I have been able to play her in a bunch of, uh, one-on-one -on -one 
like having one neon on each team. And I do think she is going to be most popular on maps like Breeze and maybe even Icebox, but I do think Breeze may be her most popular map. That map has incredibly long rotate times and long sight lines, and I do believe a lot of people are going to pick Neon in the competitive scene just highly because of her wall. I mean, Viper right now, Viper, Phoenix, Astra are the three characters with walls at the moment, and Phoenix's just doesn't compare and, and does not allow you to actually do anything on Breeze. Uh, Astra's is an alt and Viper, well that's Viper, so it's having a second character who has those walls is really really nice and I do think that'll help a little bit with the consistency on Breeze because even players who don't want to play Viper, who I will admit as someone who loves Viper does require a lot of setup to play, um, having a character where it's just you know point and click is very satisfying. I like that all of her abilities are quick cast. I, I think that's all really good. If I had to recommend some improvements, I would really love if they allowed you to set a custom button to to dash. Like I wish, I wish we could rearrange it. I want right click to be come out of dash or come out of sprint normally, and then E again to be slide, um, which is not what it is. I, I I don't think that necessarily has to be the case, but I, I think that would be a really nice addition. Overall, she seems like she's gonna be a picked character. Um, but not necessarily one that's going to break open the game like they first, you know, expected. I do think she's going to be in those situations of, like, Raze and Jet where you see some ridiculous clips sometimes. Um, but I do think that overall, it's not going to be a busted character. It'll just be a good and interesting one. And in my opinion, I'd rather have, you know, one interesting character be added than three really really powerful ones i i think interesting characters are way more fun even if you know neon's only seriously played on one map she's a really fun character to play you can do ridiculous things like run down split uh or run down split or c or whatever you want to do um and it, it just feels like a lot of fun when you get to actually do that um, so I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on all of this in the comments down below. Have you enjoyed playing Neon? Have you not gotten to play her yet? I know if you weren't on the PBE, uh, getting up enough XP at this point is still kind of hard to do. Um, leave all of your comments in the comments down below, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.